Hi everybody, my name is Bamos and welcome to the video. Coming up tonight, we're going to try something out a little bit different. Quite recently, we've been sinking a lot of ships, so I thought it'd be fun with the power of VR to go explore some shipwrecks, right? Could be fun. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to the video! So, I've got my app open, I've typed in Shipwreck VR, and this one looks kind of interesting. 360 wreck diving, the HMZNs of the Canterbury. Follow me in virtual reality on my dive through the HMNZS Canterbury, a Leander class frigate operating by the Royal New Zealand Navy from 1971 to infinity and beyond. Let's give that a go. Boshi! Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I'm all off. Holy shit, okay. I really, really want to go wreck diving. Uh, I've been, oh wow. I've, I've been diving once in my life and that was in a swimming pool. But, I mean, I would love when I, if I ever lose weight, I would love to go on a proper wreck site. It's, it's terrifying, it's scary. I mean, look up. Oh, there's a black dot. <laughs> Holy shit. What on the wreck? Oh, that's a funnel. Oh, wow. Oh, wowie. So, wait, 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 wait. That's a lifeboat, Davit. So wait, the deck must be below that, and we're on like top of the officers when just the quarters. There's paint visible on that still. Oh, that's so fucking cool! Whoever you are, you're a magnificent bastard. Thank you for filming this and for sharing it with the world. Well, so obviously this was uh, probably given it was built in the 70s. Hey, fishy. Hey, fishy, fishy. This is obviously sunk on purpose to become a coral reef of some sort. Oh, wow. You could probably do this stood up, but I'm just as happy sat down. Gives me some sensation of weightlessness. Now, oh. What the hell? Okay, we're on the seabed alongside the hull. Oh, that's mental. That's fucking crazy. Okay, so whilst I love ships and I love water and I love swimming, I hate everything else in the ocean, be it crabs, fish, jellyfish. That guy's not too bad. But spaces like this, that hole like that, I'm expecting a massive sea monster to come out of the darkness and bite my face off. Oh shit, we're gonna go inside. Oh my god. That's dark. Whoa. Holy fucking. <laughs> oh, that's mental. That's mental, I mean, I'm guessing they've cut that on purpose for divers, but geez, you don't want your torch to go out, because good luck trying to find that and to get back outside the shipwreck again. So what, I don't recognize, I mean, engine room, obviously. Uh, they've pulled out many of the equipments. <laughs> uh, okay, try to recognize things. Again, not an expert, not even an engineer. I can't tell you what's what. Oh, we've got some dials up there. The camera's not quite picking them up totally well. Oh, shit. This is awesome. Now, you don't even have to have VR. To... Oh, look at the light coming through the skylights above. You don't have to have VR for this. You can watch this in a web browser and just drag it with your mouse to search around and stuff like that. But inside of the Vive, or even an Oculus Rift, or even Google Cardboard, you could do this on an iPhone, you know? Even just with this, it makes it way more immersive. Oh, wow. Oh, wowie, wowie. Pipes and cogs and everything. See, this is really like what is really interesting to me. And I guess what I'm interested with are the likes of Titanic VR and even Honor and Glory during the, during the sinking of the Titanic. I want to get into like the bare bones of the ship, in amongst all of the mechanical engineerings, and explore, and see what can't be seen, and look at this, it's a wreck, it's a mess. I mean, I've been inside the engine room of HMS Belfast, and even that was a cramped and difficult to navigate around. Where are we going, mate? I hope you know the way, because I don't. Um, but yeah, just how tight and compact it is, it's terrifying. Now, one of the problems, or dangers, I should say, with wrecks and entering inside of them, a ship like this is probably not such a problem. Oh, that hatch is open. But, typically, the older wrecks, 
Titanic could be a, I guess a good example. The interior strength is just, it's so compromised, it's a danger of collapse. Now what's happening with this guy is, as he breathes, as he exhales, look at the air bubbles, they pull and collect on the surface. And this can lead to a collapse. It can make, it can unsettle just the, well, the composition of everything around it. And it could cause a collapse, could be dangerous. But this place is absolutely fine. I'm sure it's made for wreck divers. Oh, it's awesome. Can we... I mean, I'd love to know whereabouts in the ship we are. But, I mean, it's it's awesome. I mean, they've taken doors off. They've made it as accessible as possible to H. Oh, that's weird. I mean, even though it's a controlled sinking, it still would have, like, had some damage, I imagine, as it... Hit this. Oh, there's like a chest of drawers and shit in there. There's furniture remains. Oh, man, don't look behind you. It's terrifying. It's just darkness. I don't know what to say. I guess we should just enjoy the moment for a second. No, I, <laughs> I say enjoy the moment and I go on to start speaking. That hole's covered up. Um, I've, I've got myself a 360 camera. I intend to record some VR 360 videos for us all to enjoy. I love the color. Oh, that, that, that shade of blue is beautiful. And just with that, that hatchway open, it's just, it's inviting. It's almost as if like inside here, inside of the wreck, it just represents death, the end of existence, the end of purpose. But that open doorway, where's the camera? Hi, I think you're the camera up there. That open doorway, it's like it represents life, the world, the existence. But then in a way, there's fish everywhere. This wreck may longer... Oh, there's a seat there. What is this room? The wreck has now embodied a new type of life within the fish and the coral that's going to be growing on it. What the hell is that next to it? It's like... What, a chest of drawers? But well, what's that above it? It looks like it opens, but it's really big. Is that someone in the door? No. It looks like an arm in someone's head. Oh, you can see like all the like the cushioning and stuff. It's all motting. Nice. Got a confused panel here of some sort. Wouldn't it be terrifying if you were like, you know, you're inside this wreck. This guy appears to be kind of on his own. But you're here in the wreck. You come up through a hatch like this, like swim, 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 swim. I like being alive. It's fucking dark. And you turn your head and there's just someone watching you. Oh, there's a, a bench, a, a desk and a porthole. Hang on, wait. So what, is it like a... a I mean, you've got archways over these doorways. It looks very, very kind of decorated. Not utilitarian. But wait, was there, was there a staircase here or something? Oh! I think we're coming up on the bridge. That looks like death and destruction in there. So I'm guessing you're going to have like... Oh, look at that fish! You bastard! I hate you! Don't betray... Oh, yeah, you fuck right off. Fuck right off. Oh, wow. We're on the bridge. And that's got like a near freeze. Hi, mate. Thank you for putting the camera down. The bridge has got a near 360 point of view. That's awesome. Be nice if we could be higher up and look outside the window. So wait, where's the, where does the helm go? Where's the telemotor or just... Oh. It's a hole in the ceiling. Hi, man. Oh, this is so cool! I want to go wreck diving! So, of course, like, yes, the, the quality of the video, uh, to me, it's not a problem. To me, I'm very happy with how this looks. Oh, shit. We're swimming out over the... Um, the quality to me, yeah, it's fine. Are oh, we going into the hang on the back of the ship? But, of course, it isn't the best of the best of the best. You can see pixelation and blocking. What's that? It's a 
debris. Oh, I think... I've been to uh, Portsmouth and the historic dockyards there. I've seen many of the modern warships and... I'm guessing this is the hangar that was on the back of the ship and you can keep either like um, a helicopter in here or a boat or just, it's just you can store shit in here. I don't know, this is interesting, but I kind of want to go back into the engine room and stuff like that. Get down to like the, the nitty gritty of the ship. Oh. Hey, I haven't seen any crabs yet. That's a sign. That's a good thing. Because, you know, fish. Fish are bad. But crabs, they're assholes. I love that they've, they've kept some of the furniture. Because it's little signs like these. Like, remind you that this was a ship built for purpose. And you can kind of get an idea of that purpose. That looks like that's where you have missiles or something. Rest. It's got like a bed, an arch. Yeah, I, I, I think that's for that. I, I think that. Oh, there's a, a. Oh, you fish. You have me fish. Oh, we're out on deck. I mean, look, with like clear quality like this. You know, the, I mean, the water's clean, it's clear. You could almost trick yourself to thinking that you're above the water and it's just a particularly blue day. <laughs> oh, wowie. Oh, looking back. Mate, you're amazing. You, sir, your face is partly missing. Oh. oh, there's friends, and there's the funnel again. I guess we're making our way back to the, the, the tow line. You know, the, uh, we are... oh, there's a fish with me. Hi, fish. Oh, uh, yeah, they have like an anchor line that you then use for decompression stages and stuff like that, depending on how deep you're going. Oh, I, I'll do a search. Imagine if there's a Britannic 360 video like this. If there's not, why not? I'm gonna have a word with Simon Mills. Next time you go to the wreck, take a 360 camera for fuck's sake. What well, that said, people haven't like properly dove on it in a long time. There's been exterior dives, but they've not gone back inside. The Greek government have been difficult. <laughs> Obviously, they would have stripped most of the things of value or importance off of the ship before sinking it. That would explain why the bridge was so void. Oh, there, okay, we've got xlvisuals.com, I think it said. xlvisuals.com, oh. Northlanddive.com. Check those guys out, show them some love. Uh, globaldive.net. Thank you so much for this experience, guys. Hi, how's it going? So there you go. That was a 360 wreck dive video. I really enjoyed this experience and I think it's a really neat idea for us to do as a community to enjoy this moment together and share our thoughts and opinions. So if you've enjoyed this, please leave a comment down below if your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more of this, let me know because I would love to do more of this. But I'm very aware it's not gameplay. I'm a gameplay channel. This might upset some people. So we'll see how everybody feels but i think it's an exciting idea and it's an exciting new thing that we could do together so on that bombshell thank you for watching rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye everybody